Good morning, good afternoon to everybody. Please uh, wait a little bit. We are waiting some minutes to see if uh, everybody can join. And in the while, if uh, you don't uh, mind, please start to write in the chat from where are you coming from so that we can understand also our audience from where it's coming. Oh, hi, Ergin. <laughs> so a few minutes more that we wait for the last people. So maybe we can start. Okay, let's start. Okay, so nice to meet you guys. Uh, welcome to our webinar regarding hygiene and uh, disinfection in the future. Okay, this is uh, 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 Marino Magno speaking. I'm the infection control uh, innovation manager in WNH sterilization, and uh, here with me we have uh, Alberto Borghi that will be presenting himself uh, in a few minutes and uh, I work uh, in WNH sterilization since uh, uh, 2006 and my job is uh, uh, traveling around the world and uh, meeting you dentist assistant in all the world uh, understanding which are your problems your pain points uh, and find to and try to find solution that uh, help you in your daily business Hello everybody, thank you for joining the webinar. Uh, I'm Alberto Borghi, I'm the product manager of uh, infection control uh, in Steri. So we are responsible for the developing of new product uh, and uh, new feature on the product to meet the, your requirement on the field. I'm entering the detail of the content. So what are we are speaking about to doing this uh, webinar? So first of all, the first point is a bit of history regarding the dental market, the evolution of dental market and the evolution of uh, um, uh, connection and connectivity and uh, the opportunity of the two markets if uh, work together for the future. Uh, the second point is the changing of the, the scenario during the last uh, year due to the COVID regarding the future and uh, current regulation, the first the topic that is more related to the medical market, the impact of this on dental clinic, so different aspects that modified during the, the last year and the future years due to the current situation. What the company can do on that to improve and simplify the activity for the dental clinic and uh, the current scenario and the future regulation, which is the impact on threats and opportunity. Uh, the last two topics regarding the connectivity benefit and the opportunity that we offer with uh, possible uh, new feature and solution. And a final wrap up to summarize all different aspects. So to, to explain uh, in a funny and simple way the, the dental market evolution and the technology, so the um, computer and informatics technology, uh, we use the, the two toys and the hair. So there are the two animals that uh, are famous for the fairy tales and explain uh, which is the difference in the two market and uh, what uh, in the two, mar the two market now that now are common, um, which is the um, 
the future. So just a bit of toy. So in the 1877, Wilkinson designed the first dental chair and introduced a new design and a new opportunities on the um, on the dental on uh, for the dental clinics. Three years later, Chamberlain final finalized and in developed the first steam sterilizer that uh, was uh, similar to a pressure cooker but is uh, an important evolution for the market because uh, put a lot of highlight uh, on the um, steam uh, on the hygiene and introduce the need of the hygiene and cleaning of the, the um, device A bit proud of uh, our company. So in the 1895, WNH uh, developed the their, uh, our first end pieces. To move forward uh, in the 20th century, so in 1975, another big uh, changing on the market is the, the first team, first titanium implant and the start the implant the modern implantology in 1999 wnh developed and produced the first class b autoclave that changed the market in terms of sterilization and product that has to be sterilized and the concept of sterilization in 2020 medical devices are fully connectable and uh, award-winning in terms of design that uh, is a changing of mindset so it's not necessary it's not only necessary the quality of the device but it's also important the integration and the aesthetic aspect of the device so this is the very fast and uh, short uh, summarize of the history of uh, dental market there is the, the, the digital evolution so it's uh, in the comparison with dental market uh, and is absolutely more fa um, more uh, faster than uh, than dental and in 1973 the first pc with microprocessor was developed so the micro n 20 years later the user of internet are 30 million and only after 24 years the user are 4 billion so the increase is extremely fast and now the, the world is connected and as i mentioned uh, medical devices are now connectable so the two technology work together <coughs> and in the future the developing of dental market will become uh, uh, will be linked with uh, uh, digital evolution so if uh, like in and yang now dental and dental market and digital evolution and the dental and, and the digital market will never work alone so it's a, a message that is important for us that now the digitalization and the connectivity is a clear part as in mandatory and is a milestone for the, the dental market This means that uh, dental and medical device uh, uh, evolution and the improvement are will become more and more faster because uh, the, they follow the digital evolution. So the true toys will become the hair. So what next? Which is the aspect that uh, in the future will be uh, important in dental practice uh, in particular, but in general in terms of reprocessing of the instrument? Regarding the scenario, the aspect that everybody know, uh, unfortunately, is the 2020 is the year of the COVID. So COVID changed our perception uh, and the world, worldwide is an impact on the activities and the way we live. So the limitation in terms of uh, uh, traveling, in terms of all activities is uh, really uh, hard to support in the for us 
and changing our model of life. The, um, the newspaper, the TV, the internet create a lot of uh, and g gave a lot of information regarding the uh, infection uh, by COVID and how to minimize the impact, how to uh, manage the different situations as restaurant or common uh, uh, life. And the patient and in general the, the people are becoming more and more aware about hygiene and pra in practice. So have more information about a topic that before is not so common uh, on the newspaper and uh, TV. So the, the, the knowledge about the people increase. So we are uh, wear the mask, uh, uh, gloves, uh, cleaning of the surface. Uh, the survival of the, of the virus on different surfaces to become a common topic worldwide that uh, create a lot, of, a lot of awareness in the patient. The, the awareness of the patient uh, create uh, uh, and push the policymaker to increase, uh, not only now, but also in the future, will increase the, the rules and the regulation and the, in the dental clinic. So that it means that uh, the clinic in the future, the expectation is to have more activities to clean the instrument, to maintain the, the sterility of uh, the instrument and also the device to make the, this procedure will become more and more important in uh, the daily routine of the dental clinic. That means that technology and there are new needs for the clinic and technology will be helpful for the clinic because uh, if we increase the activities it's uh, uh, create uh, uh, more needs for the customer and more need for the user. Simplify these activities will uh, be important to focus on the core business and the core activities of the infinity, that is the treatment uh, and the treat uh, on the patient. It's not the, the reprocessing. Reprocessing is something that is necessary to uh, perform the treatments. So simplify this and uh, speed up this process thanks to the technology or integration and connectivity will be mandatory in the future. So as anticipated, the current regulation is uh, uh, changed and it will change also in the future. So now a lot of different countries, uh, several number of different countries has a very stringent requirement in terms of traceability and there are different examples, but the expectation is that in the future more and more countries as the regulation that will become more stringent and require a lot of activities for the practice. To enter more in detail in the impact on dental clinic, uh, the reprocessor will become more stringent than now. Here I put the the workflow of the uh, reprocessing uh, made by WNH. So it's a sort of uh, our standard in terms of uh, reprocessing. I know that not all countries uh, are follow all this. Uh, it's not mandatory to follow this uh, uh, reprocessing uh, workflow, but for sure in the future, our expectation is that the countries that are required some um, some device in the future will require more and more device and uh, in also in terms of quality of the single device maybe an example is that uh, more or less all countries worldwide ask for sterilize some, some at least some instrument and maybe the future is not is not enough to use a sterilizer but maybe it's an, it's necessary to use a class B sterilizer that uh, ensure the properly and the uh, sterilization of all type of device. So to enter in the in the workflow, we can start from the instrument after uh, immediately after the treatment of the patient. So how to manage this instrument? Uh, different regulation offer different uh, uh, aspect. 
and uh, the first one could be the uh, pre-cleaning after the, the 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 use of the instrument so the soaking of the instrument in a solution with uh, uh, with chemical to to decrease the the number of bacteria and, vir and virus on the surface uh, unfortunately it's not possible for all type of instrument and not and also uh, different regulations do not offer the same uh, opportunity on that so uh, from our point of view it's important to decrease the bacteria and the virus in this in on the on the surface of the instrument uh, for uh, to have a better workflow and also to have uh, to stay in the safe side uh, for for the point of view of the assistant less uh, virus and less bacteria decreased the risk of infection of cross infection during the the treatment of the patient after the soaking is uh, will be important the cleaning is a mandatory uh, good cleaning to have a correct sterilization the cleaning can be made by different way so the manual cleaning with the uh, or the automatic clinic thanks to the thermal washer disinfector so the aspect of the automatic cleaning is uh, for the safety for the validation and to make the work always in the same way so an, uh, a device can work exactly in the same way on each uh, um, cycle the manual cleaning uh, is uh, uh, different based on the moment of the day the uh, the people that is involved in this activity but uh, unfortunately in the dental clinic uh, there are different instruments that follow different channel in terms of reprocessing for example the end pieces also need uh, the lubrication after the the cleaning to avoid the risk of uh, problem on the dental chair and to increase the life of the product during the uh, the life of the end pieces uh, it's important also to know that uh, dental clinic is completely different from medical if we think about uh, medical clinic uh, if uh, the, the medical uh, and uh, has received the cleaning and disinfect and uh, sterilized instrument finish the treatment and we and go to the uh, central centralized reprocessing room for dental for dental clinic uh, is uh, a key aspect to reprocess uh, the um, the instrument is an activity in charge of the dentist and the assistant so it's a completely different mindset so th this uh, uh, is a very important uh, to uh, to have in in the mind in mind during the um, for the different type of clinics. So if we return to the workflow after cleaning and lubrication, it's important to uh, dry the instrument before packaging. Packaging is is uh, the key to maintain the sterility after uh, the sterilization process. So it's really important. To, to have a good cleaning uh, and after a good sealing of the device. Another aspect is the, the water that in many cases is uh, not uh, really considered in the, the workflow, but is uh, really important because the sterilization and uh, also the cleaning, the use of water, uh, distilled water, high quality water, avoid uh, some trouble on uh, the device uh, reliability and also on the instrument reliability because uh, all, if we use the customer or the user the dentist use not uh, the correct uh, uh, water or the uh, the water with high quality uh, it also create pitting on the instrument and uh, maybe the blocking of the small channel for example inside the end pieces so after the sealing we move to the sterilizer and the sterilizer is the the, the instrument and the device that uh, guarantee the sterility of the of the instrument that uh, we use on the patient so high quality in terms of sterilization and device is a key factor 
to have a good reprocessing and uh, um, the guarantee and the stay in the safe side in time of infection. Uh, as I, anticipate, I mentioned before, the sterilization has to be made in the right way only if the instrument is cleaning. Uh, it's clean. So if uh, the instrument is well clean, the sterilization works properly. Otherwise, it's not possible to sterilize in the right way. So uh, pay attention on the cleaning aspect to have a good sterilization in the, uh, in the reprocessing room. After we enter in this moment and something that increased a lot of in terms of importance in the last years, and that is the trustability aspect of the sterilization and the workflow in general. So now many regulations ask to demonstrate that the sterilizer, the instrument is sterile, or at least the pouch is sterile. So this is an aspect that in future will become more and more important. Different regulation here is very different to each other. So it's important to have, uh, to meet at least the requirement of regulation and uh, there are three main uh, standards. So in some countries, not request to demonstrate that they, the pouch is sterile, but uh, maybe it's necessary to demonstrate the, 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 the cycle and the workflow guarantee the sterility of the, of the instrument. Other case that is necessary to demonstrate that the pouch is sterile and the um, most advanced uh, regulation in terms of uh, trustability uh, requires also that the instrument is the instrument is sterile, the specific instrument is sterile. So this is, means that the customer has to track each single instrument or kit that enter in the workflow of the reprocessing. That is a really big activity, and on this aspect, the technology can help a lot. The um, uh, the assistant and the user. So the impact on dental clinics uh, to enter in detail for the modification of the regulation that we expect in the next year is could be on uh, the device, so the specific device. So as uh, here there are some example. For example, uh, one of them could be the thermal washer disinfector. So in many counties not now is uh, enough the manual cleaning without any validation or uh, without any additional effort on this aspect. It's important to clean the instrument, but without any rules on this. So it can be manual, automatic, it doesn't matter. Me, probably in the future, more and more counties will ask a validated process for the cleaning and the manual cleaning is very difficult to as a validation or uh, demonstrate that the cleaning is uh, made properly because the people are different and the systems are different. We can, so the clinic can create a protocol, but it's not easy to demonstrate that it's enough. So probably in the future will be important to use uh, a automatic device to clean and in case the regulation ask also disinfect the instrument. Regarding sterilization, Generally, worldwide is uh, already mentioned that it's necessary, necessary to sterilize the instrument, but a lot of regulations do not specify which type of sterilizer is necessary. For example, following the European standard, there are class N, class S, and class B sterilizer. Uh, if it's not uh, mentioned the type of sterilizer, the clinic can use a class N sterilizer to sterilize the instrument but the class N is able to sterilize only solid and unwrapped instrument. So NPC for sure is not a solid instrument, but is a hollow, with, uh, hollow instrument. And at the end of the cycle, in particular, if it's packed, if uh, it's a wrap, it's not sterile at the end of the cycle. So enter more in detail regarding the type of sterilizer will be more and more important and will become a key factor to maintain the sterility and uh, to guarantee the, um, the standard both uh, for the cleaning and uh, also for the patient. The other aspects are more related on trustability and future development of the regulation. 
The first one is the uh, trustability method. So during the workflow, I explained the different trustability methods, but are uh, the current situation. Our expectation uh, as uh, no, uh, worldwide is that this uh, trustability method will be more and more uh, uh, important in the workflow. So this means that uh, the trustability method uh, will become more stringent and this required uh, more activity for the assistant to maintain the trustability of each instrument in the clinics during the reprocessing. To enter in the, in the aspect of the, uh, of the money, this activity requires time, and uh, that means money for the clinic. And the other aspect that is that uh, the, these activities do not increase uh, the revenue for the clinic. It's only uh, uh, as a poor added value. It's mandatory to do, but it do not increase the revenue of the clinic and the, the, um, the additional uh, value for the clinic. It's only added, added, an additional activities that do not increase the revenue. Mm, the awareness of the people increase also the aspect that regarding the legal protection. So we have to be more on the safe side now than before. So it's uh, an aspect uh, that uh, will become more and more important. And on this aspect, on the, all this aspect, uh, the connectivity and the technology can help us to and the clinic to simplify the activities. Uh, now I'll uh, pass the, the presentation to Marino that explain how the different company and manufacturer of the device can help you doing the, uh, your daily activities and which is the aspect that in our opinion will become more and more important in the future. Hello again, thank you Alberto for this uh, pre-initiation phase. Okay, so have, uh, as you have seen, a lot of activity, a lot of threats uh, in the, in, on, on the table. And uh, the first question is what the company should do uh, to help you. Okay, so um, for sure, the first topic that we have to do as a company is support the customer, you. Embracing those changes, especially in this period of uncertainty. You, everybody knows uh, that uh, especially in this moment with the COVID, but whenever there is a, a real change in the regulatory, there is a first start where really the customer should be supported. This is one uh, of the topic that for sure the company should treat in the future. Then for sure we have uh, or the, the companies are working to, um, to enlarge the number of the service and trying to embrace uh, the concept that everything could be a service. Okay. And this will happen and what we will cause also we will propose more use against to ownership you know that uh, several time if we have to buy uh, uh, equipment there is initial cost there is a maintenance cost there is a, a lot of things that you have to take care of. and these are all activities that for the uh, the dentist and the assistant takes time the other topic that really uh, the, uh, the company should really think about how to, uh, to turn these threats into opportunities for the customer. Because we know that uh, if uh, uh, the customer have his uh, time really uh, focus on, the, on, the, on that customer as well, okay, could be that uh, in your some of the uh, three, uh, threats that are uh, uh, arriving, and this could develop easily in what uh, we can say that is a weakness. So this is really important uh, 
do not fall in weakness because then we have really we are really in trouble so what are these threats okay uh, with we what what are the really potential risk for a dental clinic okay so the the major uh, threats arrives exactly for the new regular requirement because these have two potential effects one is the increase of activities as we already told and the other is uh, uh, one expect related to the um, legal aspect okay so uh, if we do not uh, uh, do the right activities in the right way after there is a new rule upcoming the risk is to fall in responsibility legal responsibility uh, for example last year when uh, two years ago when in canada there was a restriction by the uh, policy maker um, the reaction was not so uh, fast of the customer from the from the dentistry and uh, what happened in ontario uh, seven uh, in one week uh, seven uh, practices have to be shut down uh, for a week because they were not uh, updated and they were not following the rules uh, that was uh, 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 upcoming and this is something that with COVID we already saw that uh, uh, on this topic uh, the policy maker really are pushing and so um, uh, the topic to be closed down and if there are cross infection uh, to be responsible with uh, is something that uh, will more and more and more uh, present in the future the other topic is connected to the increase of uh, number of activities and obviously when you are in a business uh, and uh, dentist is also a business when you have a lot of activity the risk is that you lose a little bit the focus and uh, that is not uh, recommendable so you move the focus from what is really important that is the customer uh, the patient okay to the water uh, is uh, activity that should be done by law, okay, for sure, but uh, are only necessary to keep uh, running the business, okay. And so, some decision must be made by a uh, uh, dentist how to use their time. So, in proceeding, upgrade their own skill and their own tools or start to dealing with paperwork, understanding norms and defining processes. Last but not least, with the losing time, uh, uh, moving the focus, could be also that uh, some activity, uh, let's say, um, will be done in a different way, maybe in, in a way that are uh, recognizable by the customer, so the patient, and could lead uh, to uh, have a lower quality perception by the customer. And this is really something that uh, uh, the dentist should avoid because the com competitiveness anyway is increasing because every day there are new uh, comers that uh, really want to enter in this market. But there are not only topic, uh, I would say negative, there are positive things that we can try to use as opportunities so let's speak about uh, digitalization and automatization as already told the new generation of devices are connectable and uh, this could help uh, in order to fulfill the new requirements but not only fulfill to try to do it in an efficient way so that the doctor and system can be focused on the high headed value so on the customer okay then sometime uh, pushing on the health and to the security and safety and avoiding infection control especially in this time of covid could be seen as a big uh, marketing tool showing uh, how the customer uh, is really uh, uh, let's say 
in the center of the mind of the dentist and the assistant and how much effort is applied to ensure the base safety for him and in this way with uh, uh, embracing the health and legal protection we can save money in legal protection finally uh, if you now and also in the future start to select the right solution provider it is possible that uh, you can get what is really needed today but being sure that even with the coming requirements you will be ready without extra activities and extra money in the future extra stress so there are other, uh, uh, let's say, benefits coming from the autom automation and uh, uh, digitalization that are connected to the connectivity and the world that right now we are looking for. Okay, so first of all, thanks to this connection and the IoT, okay, we can offer. Uh, more real-time and remote support uh, to the customers, so for, to you. And this again to get you the possibility to be more focused on your core business. Okay, this is also something that maybe sometimes happens in, in a lot of office. Uh, I don't know, the assistant doesn't know what really she has to do because she has a, a doubt and uh, to get uh, an answer is uh, really uh, difficult. We have to increase this, uh, uh, this service to you. So to get uh, uh, also easy question that maybe for the customer is not uh, easy, uh, solving in a real uh, fast way. And also when is not some, uh, working something because uh, you, we know that uh, uh, sometimes uh, something goes wrong to have immediate uh, support and not wait uh, hours. Always with the, uh, always through Internet of Things, uh, we also can enable innovative approaches for maintenance. So also that uh, is something that uh, today is really pushing uh, and uh, punish the, the, the normal behavior in the sense that uh, normally uh, the, the tendency is to call uh, for repair when it's already too late. So maybe you have a washer that is not working or you, there is the sterilizer is not working. And this is really cause additional effort because uh, you have to find a way to how to proceed on with the, uh, the, the, the the daily, the, the daily business, even when uh, it's not uh, possible to have a sterilizer. With the new, these new approaches of maintenance, for sure, we can, uh, knowing the device and that is connected, uh, the companies can check them remotely and uh, understand if it is time to do uh, uh, maintenance. Then knowing the real usage of the, uh, the, the, the device and all the, the workflow is also uh, possible to adopt a tailor-made solution <clears throat> that will help by uh, ensuring efficiency in terms of pay only what you really use. Sometimes you know that you buy something that uh, there is a lot of feature inside uh, but in the end, you are just uh, uh, looking for one or two of these uh, uh, features. And uh, this is something that uh, uh, is not only a topic uh, on uh, pay for what you really uh, pay, but in the end, is something also that is really environmentally, uh, uh, let's say, sens sensible. So if we... Uh, want to have the right product, the right solution, we can have also a way to use what we really, we really need, avoiding unnecessary waste. And all of, all of us know uh, how the uh, world uh, warm-up uh, is uh, 
uh, warming sorry is uh, something that is really important and uh, under the responsibility of each of us the benefit connected to uh, 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 connectivity <laughs> uh, are not only those ones so uh, in reality uh, we can try to help uh, the clinics to learn how to speed up their own process because uh, you are uh, basically alone or maybe you have friends that do exactly the same things but we as manufacturer and as a provider we are in contact with a lot of them so we can really uh, share the experience of the outer in order that you get uh, uh, let's say uh, value from that and obviously always uh, having numbers under our let's say uh, control or we can also improve the the stock how many uh, instruments you have in house how many consumable and maybe reduce it at the minimum or i would say at a safety level avoiding that maybe you have uh, too many of one uh, instrument and too short uh, shortage on other instrument or other let's say um, consumable then uh, also retrieve information when there is an audit or when there is a control is something that you don't have really to think about it's something that should be done automatically so the you just have to work and uh, finally when really is needed we have to be uh, to propose you the service to get it immediately when really is needed and finally maybe looking further in the future let me bet five up to ten years with artificial intelligence through augmented experience we will be able to support this the assistant and the doctor on the daily operation with the aims to reducing misuse and the human errors so we are coming uh, at the end of this uh, uh, really short presentation and what i want to do with you is a, a small ramp up so uh, let's speak about uh, uh, for, first of all i think that you understood that uh, the world now is more uh, uh, focused on the gene and cross infection this was a, a process that was already in place before the covid and covid is just uh, accelerating this process okay then this uh, new regulation that will come to be uh, more focused on infection control will create potential increase of cost in in, uh, in term of activity in term of uh, uh, devices in terms of mining and uh, and here we arrive uh, as uh, companies that we have to supply to you um, solution that help you to avoid that uh, the increase of cost will uh, and the increase of activity will really uh, reduce your focus on your daily uh, activities and on your uh, focus that is your passion okay and we will do that uh, most probably increase technology of upgrading our product and for sure this is one step but uh, again with the, the, the connectivity and uh, with the IoT, for sure, we will be able also to suggest uh, and uh, get you your uh, life uh, easier. So what we want to say with this uh, final uh, explanation is that uh, we and you together, we have to be ready to change. So I hope that you enjoy this part. Uh, we didn't mention at the very beginning, but uh, we also um, have a, a, about 10 minutes if we want uh, from answer to your question so please if you have any question just enter it in the chat and uh, we will uh, try to answer uh, to some of the questions
Okay, so it seems that there is a question. The question is uh, what is doing WNH basically. So thank you for the question for first. As I already mentioned, so WNH already uh, have uh, uh, let's say solution uh, for sterilizer and from, ad from other let's say uh, instruments to be connected. We call it uh, IODENT is a platform intern of dentistry. And this is uh, the first uh, initial uh, point uh, where we are starting really to give to you additional service, uh, avoid, uh, services, uh, avoiding to uh, waste time on activities that uh, we can do in an efficient way for you. Okay. And this is a, only a point related to the connectivity. In the future, there will be more uh, devices and the aim of WNH for sure will be to be more interconnected and let the devices work together. Also, this is a topic that already we are doing, but uh, you have to expect that we will do more and more on this uh, activity. Then, for sure, the topic of tracking and trace is a, a huge, uh, have a huge impact. Okay. So, on this case, uh, obviously, we will imp improve and improve also thanks to your feedback. Uh, uh, this system in, in, in a manner that uh, you have to spend uh, the less time possible in efficient way in the uh, in this activity. I hope uh, I have an uh, answer to this question. I see there is another uh, question. I let uh, Alberto answer to this. Yes, the second answer regarding the regulation and the different regulation in different countries. Uh, the question came from Australia and uh, asked uh, which are the countries that uh, the regulation is stringent worldwide. Uh, it's, it's true and uh, it's kind of that Australia is one of the most uh, uh, stringent countries in terms of regulation on traceability. So it's a request to track uh, each single instrument or kit or and maintain track of this. So which type of load enter in the sterilizer is important and it's important to know which instrument are in uh, sterile after the cycle. Uh, the same regulation uh, or similar regulation is uh, also in uh, other two countries worldwide. One is uh, Canada at least in some uh, region of Canada, for example, Ontario is a request to track uh, all instruments uh, that are stale, not only the pouch. And the third one is the Colombia, is quite a surprise maybe about uh, it, that is a country that we do not expect, but uh, the regulation is very stringent on trustability aspect. Uh, as I uh, Say during the presentation, uh, the current situation due to COVID uh, created effort uh, on patient and uh, the policymaker uh, are working to have uh, more and more stringent regulation in terms of uh, uh, reprocessing and workflow. So our expectation that is that uh, these countries increase uh, uh, during the next uh, month and years. And uh, in particularly, we know that uh, some countries in Europe already work on that and the uh, uh, expectation is that uh, sooner than later, this type of regulation or and stringent in terms of traceability will become a standard uh, in, uh, in Europe and also in other countries worldwide. I think there are no other questions. We are we can wait some uh, a couple of minutes just uh, if uh, someone uh, wanted to ask uh, something regarding presentation or traceability uh, and uh, connectivity aspect in the future. Um, in the meantime, I will. Uh, uh, offer the opportunity to send us uh, email to me, to Marino or to me regarding some uh, uh, opportunities, uh, additional questions that maybe now is not, uh, uh, you have no time to, to submit or want to think about it. 
and also some uh, opportunity in terms of uh, partnership uh, if some com company are uh, connected uh, here the email address of uh, uh, marino is marino punto magno uh, um, uh, dot, uh, marino dot magno at wnh.com and my email address is alberto dot borghi the, uh, at uh, wnh.com so if you have uh, some uh, interesting or question uh, will be fine to contact us Marina has want to, to add uh, something no no I just want to say our time is finished so I wish you a good day or final day uh, thank you very much for your time and to be here I hope uh, that we can help and uh, work together and uh, see you soon bye 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 thank you for your time See you next time.